What's up again, YouTube? Hey, how's it going? It's Don Johnson coming to you from the Lodge Freeway northbound at the seven mile exit. Wish I could say it's coming with some good news, but for like the sixth time this month, my truck broke down again. And my uh, intake valve crashed on me a couple weeks ago, lost three days. Uh, yesterday I had a uh, uh, transmission issue, but that was fixed by adjusting the clutch. I had like six tire blowouts in the past month. Um, yesterday I got my, my uh, tire, decided to have a battle with a uh, six foot concrete slab, and the tire lost. Um, now I should take a video of it in a minute and show you. Um, this job's going good, except for the scrappy 14-year-old equipment that they need to get rid of and get some new stuff. And it's 83 degrees out, and I got no AC, and I'm sweating like a hog, and I'm out of water. I drank all my waters up already. Uh, been complaining about my AC getting fixed for like over three months now, and they won't freaking fix it. They, they keep taking their sweet time. Um, if I wasn't so broke, I'll take it, get it fixed myself. But I got no money for that stuff. Um, it is like June 18th, I think, at about 5:30 at night. I was on my way back to the yard when my airline blew about four miles behind me. But um, there was no worse wide enough to pull over to take a look at it, so I had to keep going to find enough shoulder that I felt comfortable to pull over safely and minimize the chance of me getting rear-ended or hit or struck by some other fool who's going to be texting on the phone or talking to somebody or getting hat from somebody or whatever the deal is. Never know in this day and age. So then I had my uh, left front steer tire begin smoking because my brake, my tractor brakes, um, I don't know, they're, they're weird. I keep telling them to adjust them. They said they're fine, but for some reason, my tractor brakes locked up, but I had no indication because all my tires are still free rolling, so I didn't know there was anything wrong with them. And then about four miles later, as I was getting ready to pull over when I found enough room, I saw huge smoke coming from my left front steer tire. Um, if only I had a GoPro going or my dash cam going, I could have uh, recorded it. But uh, So now, like I said, um, it's after work hours. They got to find somebody who can come out and look at it and investigate it and get my brakes done a lot. And uh, it's going to be a few hours at least, I bet. Um, it wouldn't be so bad if they struck that AC, though. Freaking 83 degrees. And I'm burning up in here. <laughs> can anybody bring me a water? Hey, am I got water? I figured they just keep driving by. But uh, it's a rush hour, but traffic seemed to pick up. Well, figures traffic starts moving once I get to the shoulder. It was uh, crawling at like 10 miles, 15 miles an hour. And I was trying my best to keep my air pressure built up so I could find a safe spot to pull over. And then the moment I pull over, traffic in front of me seems to pick up and it's moving fine now. So, yeah. On the other hand, I've uh, reached, started my diet. Yesterday I walked six miles um, after my jet shift, which took me two hours and 15 minutes. I was going to do it again today, but depending on what time I get my brakes fixed today and get my truck to the yard and finally get home, it might be too late to do it tonight because I'm sure I got to be back to work by 6 a.m. tomorrow or 5 a.m. or 7 a.m. or something like that which means I gotta get up by three or four in the morning and drive an hour to get to work and all that goody goody two shoe stuff. So, um, yeah, my uh, dispatcher told me to get out and make a video pretty much. I'm, I guess I don't know if it's a good thing letting coworkers know I'm in YouTube, but uh, I decided why not? And I'm coming to you on my iPad Air 2 and uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if I did any videos yet since I got my glasses, but uh, I finally gave in. I'm becoming an old man, and uh, went to an eye doctor, got me some Harley Davidson. One minute, please. 
Hey, and I'm back. Sorry to pause it. I guess I didn't need to pause it, but it was a, a shop guy from Milford calling me to let me know that he's going to load up his truck and he'll be here in about an hour or two hours, give or take traffic. And he'll bring me a water because I'm out of water and so. But yeah, uh, it's uh, getting a little, I mean, I like this job. I like it when I get overtime. Although with all the breakdowns I've had, and then last week I had to miss a day for a doctor's. So I haven't had much as much overtime as I did. Oh my God, I need a holster for my iPad. I haven't had as much overtime as I did six weeks ago, but the money's still okay. And yeah, I got my hands all greasy, trying to find where the leak was on my brake chamber. Well, what airline blew and all that stuff. I knew it was going to be something horrible, but I couldn't pull over because there wasn't enough shoulder and I don't trust drivers during rush hour. There's too many of them all texting, talking, and like I already said before. Um, but, but I don't know. It's a local job, so I guess you got to deal with the cons and until my computer business or my video game industry picks up. Or I get off a lazy butt and start writing my books again. But I got no free time. I bought this iPad Air, so when I got free time in the middle of waiting to be loaded and unloaded, maybe I tried writing, but I haven't done it yet. Um, and now that I'm trying to health kick a uh, health regiment to work out every day, um, I'm probably gonna try walking the six miles every other day, minimum. And then when I'm not walking on the days off, I'm gonna use my total gym to uh, work on my triceps and my leg muscles, you know. Um, it's unfortunate, I do pretty much almost am diabetic, I guess, according to this A1C test. He's done two of them, and my ratings have been over 8.1. This time was 8.1, the last time was 8.8. .8. So it's gone down 0.7 but it still needs to go down like two or three whole numbers. So um, yesterday, I don't know, I got in a weird funk. I do cold turkey on my pop. Um, gonna try to only eat one helping at dinner time. And during the daytime, I had me those uh, two pre-made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a nutri grain bar or something to last me for my 12 to 14 hour shift. In today's case, it's gonna be like 18 hours <laughs> or so. I don't know, it's gonna be a long day, that's all I know. Um, so yeah, I gotta lose like at least 100 pounds before my next DOT physical. Otherwise, I'm gonna have complications getting it renewed. Um, I don't know what else. Not to mention all the other ailments that are starting to slag me down. Um, I'm like uh, trying not to become like my mom, unfortunately, but I'm like halfway there, so I'm trying to cut it off before it gets any worse. But uh, yeah, but other than that, there's nothing much going on. Um, I dropped out of college. I don't know if I said that in a previous video or not, because um, this job is just too busy during the summer months. So uh, my computer business is still open, but I haven't gotten no phone calls yet. And uh, but then again, I mean, I only got Sunday to work on computers and stuff for people. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to get business going. We only got one day a week. You can get people's computers and work on them. But, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I just thought I'd get in here and make a quick little video. I haven't done it in a while. Um, I'm still trying to get my hands on the GoPro. I haven't got it yet because, um. I like to show you how this dumping thing works and some of these pits. I mean, I'm getting used to the pits now, so they're not as mind blown as they were when they first started. They're not such a maze, because I'm starting to learn, I know my way around some of them now. So they're not, and I got me a CB again. I had to rebuy the same CB I did a video about, as Cobra uh, Bluetooth CB. I did a video about it when I was with Night Transportation, because that's the one I bought, it has a Bluetooth feature but night transportation never gave me my stuff back and they dodged all my calls when they let me go because of my incident in Oklahoma. 
I even I am even friends with my boss, and he wouldn't even let me, let me know back where where my stuff was or how can I get it. They just ignore me and they won't return my phone calls. So I had to buy spend another 180 bucks to rebuy the same CD I had brand new back in July of last year. But it's worth it, I think, because it's got the Bluetooth feature. So if I'm under on the shoulder like I am now, and I actually had a phone call to take, and I could just use the Bluetooth feature because it's easier to have the volume up so I can hear more over the traffic that's rushing by me. Um, yeah. I'm sorry for my subscribers and anybody does pay attention to my videos. I keep on expecting videos every week, but uh, I'm a procrastinator, so. And I got issues and I got lack of time and other stuff, you know, that interfere. Um, but for the subscribers that are still with me and still watching and still waiting for something spectacular to eventually happen on my YouTube channel, I appreciate it and I thank you. And until I have something else to inform you about or my GoPro up and running or my dash cam up and running again, uh, I guess that about does it for now. And I'll let you know with an update to how long my break th this breakdown takes. Mostly it's just a matter of traffic that's going to slow it down the breakdown. Yeah, breakdown guy. So, until next time, I'm Don Johnson. We'll catch you later.